Hello, teacher and friends. I'm Thu here. I'm a member of Group 1. Hi, teacher and friends. My name is Phu and I'm a member of Group 1. Hello, teacher and friends. My name is Yi Hu and I'm a member of Group 1. Hi, teacher and friends. I'm Homan. I'm from Group 1. Hello, teacher and friends. My name is Dang and I'm from Group 1. Hi, teacher and friends. My name is Thilin. Today, Group 1 is going to show all of you our presentation. And it will be demonstrated in the form of a vlog. So in order to know what exactly we're going to show you, please watch the video until the end. Now, let's get started. Bye. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Many thanks for spending time watching this vlog. Today, this vlog will talk about a very interesting topic and get a lot of attention. So, before knowing the topic's name, please watch the interview clip of two students below. Yes, of course. I really want to study abroad because I want to become a successful businessman and intend to study abroad at student school in the UK. Well, I'm not sure. I also want to have opportunity to study abroad, but because the cost is quite expensive, so it's not possible for me, not to mention the cost of living. Yes, I am a CIE student at the UE. It is a center for international education and my major is international business. Well, absolutely hotel management. Now I'm a freshman at Da Nang University of Economics, specifically in the center of international education. Yes, as we know, studying abroad has been more and more popular for many students recently. According to the annual report, Open Doors, Vietnam remained sixth on the list of leading nations in terms of foreign students studying in the United States. However, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the number of the international students applying to the universities at the U.S. has decreased at about 2.5% over the period two years starting from 2018. Hence, in this vlog, our group will introduce you to a new method called Studying Abroad in the Home Country, a great opportunity for Vietnamese students. This vlog will be divided into four sessions. Firstly, difficulties of students when studying abroad. Secondly, on-site studying abroad models. Thirdly, the smart choice of financing and the ranking of university. Lastly, job opportunities in the future. Okay, let's go! Now, I will continue with the difficulty when studying abroad. As we know, studying abroad means moving to another country, which is not an easy conversion, even when students may face many difficulties. First of all, because of the high cost, most young people will tend to work part-time, so it has greatly affected their study results. Next is culture shock. It takes a long time for international students to integrate due to the cultural difference between countries. The third difficulty is the language barrier, which can be clearly seen at school. For example, following the AMA English Center, an international student in Australia shared about her first day at a university abroad. She had difficulty talking to locals and listening to teachers. She always had to record what the teacher said in class and took time going home to listen to it again and again. It took her almost half a year to integrate and engage in conversations with others. Last but not least is the fact that racialism is so privacy in some countries. The Chinese Ministry of Education issued a race to study in Australia for Chinese shock and fat children after the COVID-19 pandemic. The wave of discrimination against Chinese people, especially increased discrimination against Asian descent, broke out in the land of kangaroos. Those are some diff difficult that most international students will cope with. They may overcome this difficulty and it might have negatively affected their studies. Hence, we would like to introduce to everyone a new method to replace it with on-site study abroad. Studying abroad in the home country. 
3A method of studying a program taught by foreign universities and getting a degree equivalent to studying abroad in Vietnam. It is divided in countries studying abroad into three models. Firstly, it is an associate degree between a Vietnamese and foreign university. Students can study and receive their diplomas in Vietnam or transfer abroad to complete the program. Secondly, foreign universities and college would compress in Vietnam make conditions for students to accept international training programs such as RMIT, EUP, and Fulbright. We had three programs. We have the Master in International Business, or called MIB. We have the MBA and the EMBA, or Executive MBA program. Across all three programs, we provide a good value in terms of the students getting very authentic experiences. Well, the first semester that I did the two courses has been a real eye-opener for me. Being able to communicate with people on my wavelength and also different nationalities and cultures, which is really good. So you're not just doing corporate, but you're looking at people in hospitality, you're looking at people in you know, international business, in shipping, in finance. You know, RMIT is so connected to hundreds of companies in Vietnam and, and we have a great network of alumni as well. And so at the end of all those master's programs, they have accumulated a great portfolio of assignments that are real world and also have made connections to industry. And I think that's what really separates the master's programs at this university from other universities with the same kinds of programs. Finally, training in Joseph Lab program in foreign language with international quality education. University education has trained a lot and has focused on cooperating with international universities to create international training programs in recent years. So this is a more effective and optimal method for students, particularly in pandemic context. For me, when choosing to study abroad in your home country, you need to determine if you are mentally strong and confident enough to be able to start with an international program. In particular, it is important to carefully consider and have a clear understanding of finance as well as the school you will attend. When it comes to economics, we know that the cost per student in a country for a year is equivalent to that country per capita GDP. For instance, a student at Coventry University in the UK must pay around £13,000 per year, whilst the cost of living including food, transportation, housing are from £600 to £900 per month. In my opinion, I think this is an expensive expense that small Vietnamese households cannot manage. However, some educational programs like CIE at the National University of Economics allow Vietnamese students to continue their study and obtain a bachelor's degree from an overseas university affiliated with this program. The tuition fees that students have to pay for a four-year course in Vietnam are only around 12500 Thus, for the one-size study abroad program, not only has the cost per student been significantly reduced, but also students can still study the same quality program as abroad. So, let me tell you about the ranking of the university. At first, we need to find out some school before making the decision by criteria such as ensuring the legal factor of Vietnamese school with foreign partner, school quality and commitment to output. These days, there are many Vietnamese universities have been selected as the most prestigious university in the world. For example, Hanoi National University and Ho Chi Minh National University, both of these schools have are among the top 1,000 best university in the world's ranking university by Hua Kori, Simon ranking organization on the 6th of September. In addition to the quality of training, combined with an extensive network of business linked both at home and abroad, making sure that students get jobs while in still school and after they graduate. To achieve this goal, uh, the school is always uh, interested in building practical training for students 
uh, creating many opportunities for students to practice and enterprise right from the third year as well as being taught by successful business during their studies. Currently, international university in the country are tending to associate with foreign business. So that students can improve their skill, apply effectively in practice, and create opportunity for students to practice only in the new environment. For example, all MIT University offers students internship opportunity at famous hotels and resorts, such as Hanoi Wet Lake or Hanoi Landmark 72, for students to gain more experience and apply it to daily work. Therefore, students need to consider problems about Vietnam job market to choose the right major for themselves and their family to invest in. As you know, there are a lot of people who have university or college degree but are still unemployed because they are to a training profession that is not suitable for their ability. According to the Vietnam labor market of the 2019, more than 1 million people are unemployed. A quick 124,500 people have university degree or higher, which means more than 100,000 university degree are abundant. And to reduce this problem, its students need to understand the market through statistics on human demand. According to the forecast of human demand in a key industry groups of Ho Chi Minh City from 2015 to 2025, Science and technology is the industry group with the highest demand for human resources with 35%, economic with 33%, social sciences, humanity with 8%, and the remaining 5 groups of account for 24%. However, there are also a number of programs that can help students have more time to choose the right major. For example, the Center for International Education at Đà Nẵng University of Economics offer a first year English program. In the second and third years, students will be trained in BTEC, H, and D, a Pearson International Education Organization. In the final year, students can choose the right major for themselves and market demand through lecture centers and research, so they have more time to think about the major can say that choosing a major will not make you rich or successful, but it is very important and necessary because it greatly affects an individual. Therefore, you need to be carefully considered and researched before deciding to the major. In short, studying abroad in the home country is a new and effective method in the current social context, and it also has to solve the difficulty of studying abroad. To attain the best results, you will need to make smart choices, consider the high quality school, the budget to match their capacity and the investment of their family. Thus, with this form of study approach, students have the opportunity to earn an educational degree and expand career prospects around the world. In addition, with a well-trained English level, enhanced soft skills and having a deep knowledge about global culture, is the first step for the young people in the journey of marching without resolving into the world. And now, to end up our vlog, let's watch a video about two students to know how they feel about joining the program as Center of International Education at Jamaica University of Economics. Firstly, the highlight of this program is that it is linked with many top schools such as Sutherland, Coventry, so the degree will have international value. Secondly, the curriculum is entirely in English, and being able to communicate with foreign teacher can help me improve my speaking and listening skill a lot. Finally, an international degree and improved foreign language skill can help me have many good job opportunities after graduation. When I learn this program, I have to learn all the subjects and communicate in English. It's like I'm an international student. I pay less money than learning abroad because the cost is only one third of my spending abroad expenditures. Moreover, I can visit my family every week because my university isn't far from my home. After watching this vlog, I hope that you will have more information about on-site studying abroad 
and can consider to choose this farm in the future, particularly in the current pandemic. Many thanks for attending. Goodbye!